record button. Let's go ahead and jump into here. We have wall slam. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's loud. Wall slammer. This is a Moto Madness video. Submit your clips. Link in the description for Moto Madness, not me. Kevin Jackson. All right. Good. I was going to say good position, but he does have a quad long, so I'll give him that. Passing high rate of speed. We're going, there's a one there. We're going over 100. 130. We have a corner coming up. Ooh, yes, we do. Keep it, keep it. Ooh, very lucky. Very lucky. Let me get my pen out. So that's just the natural reaction when something happens. When something happens uh, that's, a, that's dangerous and you survive. Guys, make sure you hit that like button. Alright, what else do we got? Moto Madness, we've had in time now. It took him a while. Slow down. Practicing uh, off-roading with a sport bike. Alright. Is that all there is? Alright, yeah. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. So it's all fun and games when we're doing a straightaway. Um, we're speeding on a straightaway. So we're going to go ahead and accelerate. Alright, so we're going to go over 100. We're going to keep upshifting, upshifting, upshifting. With the camera angle, he's kind of tucked in a little bit. So he's kind of like doing this. And what's going to happen here is that we have a corner coming up. You start to see a little bit of a fishtail. So you see his body shift over. So the camera angle, because it's on his chin, right? Camera angle is pointed at his phone and, and the dash. He's he's looking through like this, okay? And the moment he sees the corner coming up, you see the it transfer. The camera angle, this is the camera angle right here at the top of his, uh, I forget. Anyways, and as soon as he hits the brakes, look how high he goes up, okay? So he's actually moving up. So weight's transferring to the, is it a little loud? Weight's transferring to the front, okay? The weight's transferring to the front, so he's getting more traction to the front tire. But if you notice, look at his handlebars. We're just doing a quick little adjustment. Handlebars are straight with the front of it. And once he starts applying that rear brake, ooh, you saw a little bit of that weird fishtailing, right? So he locked up the tires. Um, he started skidding. He's starting to skid a little bit more. He's starting to fishtail a little bit. And as soon as he goes onto here, thankfully he doesn't... Is that something... Is that, a, is that a sign? So he almost hits the sign. So overall, everything is extremely lucky. The quad lock did not uh, fly off, so his phone did not fly off because of that. Grab yourself a quad lock in the description. Got extremely lucky. So what do we learn from this, everybody? What do we learn from this? How about we just don't speed like crazy? Let's not go crazy with that. Let's go ahead and uh, take these turns. Let's do a, a slow look, press, and roll through these turns. Come on now. Extreme luck. Yeah. Went from brown, so fluffy, brown stage to rainbow. So brown is the panic, rainbow is the euphoric. I love that. That's a great, I'm going to go, uh, quote of the day. Quote of the day right there uh, from Fluffity Chuff Nuffles. Moonlight Drive. Here we go. Uh, decent space cushion. We see brake lights. Okay, there we go. Pay attention. Great swerve. Why did they stop? We don't know. Yeah, we don't know why they stopped. Let's take a look and see maybe why. The braking, braking. There's a gate to the right. Is there anything to the left that they could have turned into? No, they just straight up stopped. So right here, this is a great example of being in orange stage, uh, recognizing that something's coming up. Uh, but it's kind of last second. Uh, so here we go. We're going to be planning a ride. So we got a position for safety. We got to locate the hazard, assess that it's a relevant threat. We have brake lights right now, so it's starting to, uh, you know, kind of get into our system. Hey, what's going on? We're staring at the motorcycle rider. We're kind of distracted. So there's a lot of brake lights. Now we're getting closer. If you notice, like my hands right here, pretty far away. But when we get closer and closer and closer, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what she said. But once we see the vehicle get closer and closer, that means we're actually getting closer or getting bigger. We're getting closer. Getting closer, we're getting bigger. Oh, either way, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it's been a morning, guys. So right here, our space cushion is deteriorating. It's deteriorating, and we have to do something. We have to do a red stage maneuver. We have to get. We have to do something. We have to do something. We're not gonna be able to stop in time. So he's trying to stop, and he realizes he can't. So he has to choose a swerve. So he has to be able to get around this vehicle. Thankfully, nobody's coming over. 
But now that we're over here, we have to get ourselves back into safety and then get back into his lane. This is a great example of trying to pay attention. So, yellow stage right now. And then once we see the motorcycles kind of passing, the scooters passing, we look forward and we go into red. So right now it's yellow, kind of relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. See the vehicles. This should be orange stage right now because we have brake lights up ahead. Okay, brake lights. And then as soon as that, we went into red stage. Now we can't stop in time, so we're gonna swerve. Great job, Moonlight. Did a great job. Yeah, we're orange stage in the intersection. You're right, Flesh. Bradley Johnson. Hayabusa. Crest of the hill. Don't know what's going around there. Got a curve. Crest of the hill. Can't see. Whoa! Was not anticipating that. Was not anticipating I cannot speak today. I think I'm having a stroke. Yeah, check your hand. Oof. Immediate bruise right there. Can't do much here. Let's go and just watch one more time. Move on. But yeah, watch out for these crests of the hill. Lost a little bit of plastic. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah, check your hands. Watch your knee too. Instant bruise. Here we go. Great. Hey, this is a plan, kind of. Okay, so when we talk about uh, position for safety, we need to have good line of sight and an escape path and a space cushion. So right now we have great line of sight. Well, I'd say good line of sight. We can see around this vehicle. We have an escape path right in front of us. And the space cushion, use that escape path as the space cushion, but here I would still increase the space cushion. Passing. Wait until... Break, 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 break. Wait until they actually go all the way through. Because there's probably a vehicle that got in this way. Raven. This is just mere steering damage. It seems a must have on many sport bikes. Um, If you're speeding... Well, he's only got 70. This looks like a on -ramp. Oh, now we're... Here we go. Now here we go. Now we're going to get speed wobbles, huh? We're going 120. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Guess what happened, everybody? We're speeding and we're hitting a bump. Now, his question right here, or maybe this is uh, Moto Madness, is just me or steering dampener seem a must? Yeah, it's a must if you speed and you go 120 and hit bumps. Because you have to remember, I mean, we're talking about sport bikes here. They're, they're meant to go fast. Sure, 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 sure. But they're also uh, priced at a point where it's it's feasible for a consumer to order and to buy and to, and to maintain and all that stuff. When we're talking about sport bikes on, on the racetrack, they have the best top-of-the-line suspension, top-of-the-line tires, top-of-the-line steering dampener, top-of-the-line handlebars, top-of-the-line, 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 top-of-the-line. When you're getting a sport bike from a dealer, you're not getting top-of-the-line stuff unless you're paying like you know for like a ducati before and all that stuff but it, a, a regular sport bike you're getting okay suspension you're getting okay tires you're getting okay everything so you have to upgrade your bike to be able to handle these things and that yeah steering damper right but you also have to upgrade your bike for better tires better suspension better everything so what do we do if you can't afford that just don't speed don't speed. Uh, you don't need to go super fast for speed wobbles, but you need to have, or you, you can get speed wobbles easier at a high rate of speed. They're called death wobbles. Um, you can hit, you can hit a bump going like 40. And if your suspension's not good, you can do exactly this too. This is a great ad for quad lock too. Uh, S1K rocket. Side of the vehicle. Yeah. Guys, make sure you hit that like button, sign into class. Let's get 100 likes on this. So right here, we're coming up to the intersection. What, what, what is this right here, guys? What I mean, already, I'll just go ahead and circle it. Side of the vehicle. Let me go ahead, because you, you guys can barely see it. Let me go ahead and get this. Let's go ahead. We got this, 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 this.
This somehow turned into a limo with many windows. Anyways, that's the side of the vehicle, everybody. That's the side of the vehicle. We have this right here, side of the vehicle. When you see a side of the vehicle, let's get out of that. When you see side of the vehicle, we need to be applying the brakes. We need to find escape paths. We need to plan our ride a little bit better, okay? It's just a pattern to recognize when we're actually, you know, going through traffic. It's just a pattern. That's all it is. It's not a hazard yet because we're not going to hit them, but, you know, we're trying to assess it, right? Let's bring that back on here. We're locating hazard situation, assessing a relevant threat. Do we have to navigate, really, at this point? That's what I'm trying to say is that, yes, it can be a threat if we're going to accelerate into it, but we see it ahead of time. These patterns are giving us an, an idea of what we should be doing, what we should be doing. And what we should be doing is progressively breaking, exactly what the guy in the front's doing. But the guy in the back is screaming, pulling in the clutch, and rev bombing. Wasted movement. Wasted movement. Wasted movement. And possibly doing damage to your bike. Really, bro? Alright. Here we go. Side of the vehicle once again. Let's just go ahead and move past this one. Good swerve. Good swerve. Found an escape. Handled it. Got jumped many lanes, but we did a good job. This is uh, somebody that was planning the ride. Okay. Another side of the vehicle. Break, break, break. Ooh. Very lucky. Good job with the progressive braking. We did lock it up a little bit, but you know that's right. probably right at the end when you got all that weight transferred. So let's take a look at this one right here. So let's see what kind of pattern we got. Hit that like button, everybody. Look at those tires. As soon as we see this, roll off the throttle and apply some progressive braking. And it sounds like that's what he did. So this is somebody that's been practicing, practicing the braking. And you go out into the parking lot and uh, do a smart rider drills. Okay, we got drills, a drill booklet, digital booklets at the shop. Go ahead and grab one. Uh, practice your drills. We got 20 plus drills there. But you're going to practice your, your braking because you're going to have to make tight turns, do U-turns, figure eights. It's going to give you some confidence with your bike. Sorry. You're going to bond with your bike. You're going to basically be its dance partner. All right, the Flying Scotsman in Alaska. Is the uh, rubber ducky thing something? I don't know. That was a great position. I'd be there at intersection two. Yeah, we got a dumb dumb behind us. It's just a road race thing, a little dumb dumb. Ground stage pantalones. Yeah. Come here. Great position. Don't get rear-ended. Come here. There you go. Exactly it. That's why we position that way. It was legal. Sorry. It was legal. I'm pretty sure it's not bloody. Look it up. You impeded that left lane, mate. That left lane was waiting for the No. So this is when you run into people that don't know the law. Highway code. That's legal. All right. So the way I see this is that uh, the Flying Scotsman had to get his license. You know, he's got to get a license. He's got to do the training. He's got to understand what he's doing. And then we have somebody here that probably doesn't drive or doesn't ride and just drives cars, telling somebody that went through the education that it's not legal and, and he's causing a fit. This is like people arguing with doctors about stuff, you know, when, when the only research they've ever done uh, was from their from their grandma telling them how to put, you know, vapor rub on their chest and it's going to solve all the problems, put butter on your feet and all that crap. But uh, yeah, so this is, when you have the education, you should know. So if you're doing something that you don't know you should be doing, you should be pretty confident in that this is what you're supposed to be doing. When you have idiots trying to argue with you, don't really argue with them. Just say, yeah, this is illegal. Don't worry about it. If they cause any problems, call the cops. So the guy's being an idiot, the guy in the car. No, I'm going straight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's fine. This guy probably feels like an idiot. Cool Breeze, how you doing, man? Got some people there. Watch out for the car, watch out for the car. There you go. There you go. Watch out for the turn. You got a turn coming up. Handled it. His phone's not there. Just kidding. Uh, bike some bits. 1,000. In Sydney. Here we go. I haven't seen a Sydney one in a while. All right, don't get rear-ended. Accelerate, accelerate. Okay, get through, get through, pass. He's doing head checks, very good. High vis. Whoa, we got a side of the bus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Side of the bus. Probably didn't see that when he did his head check because remember, your focal vision. So right here, probably anticipates the person to be in the bus lane, I'm assuming. Does another head check to switch lanes, doing exactly what uh, he's supposed to be doing. High vis looks up and it's like whoa that nose of that bus is not going into this this red spot i'm assuming that's the bus lane. now that it crosses over 
he needs to make another adjustment. Now we're in red stage. We got to swerve all the way to the right. Hopefully nobody's there. Jesus Handled it. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Slashing. All right, MT-09. Somebody said they just got an MT-07. This is what an MT-09 looks like. We're gonna make a corner right here. Ooh, water, water. Whoa, oncoming. <laughs> Uncommon thing in a common situation right there. Let's take a look at that real quick So this is the lane or the yeah, the lane that they're supposed to be in There's a median So it kind of in the corner kind of looks like that, you know, it's they're in their own lane, right? As Soon as we see this headlights you see that it's shining off the curb. Whoa too many things a little bit weird would have been a lot easier to see during the day, but man, got very lucky. Got very lucky. Yeah, that's a natural reaction right there. China. Switching lanes. There's that open pattern. Break, break, break. Swerve if you need to. There we go. Find that open spot. Very good. Very good. So here's that open lane pattern. You notice how the white car is going fast. Let's go back to a little bit. The white car right in front of us in our lane is going faster than the red car. You see how the white car is behind the red car? So our lane's moving faster. The pattern that we're talking about is an open lane, long line. So people in a long line see a shorter line, they switch over into that short line. You see it all the time. You go to Circle K, you go to Qual you, you go to any store and you see that a line shorter, you're going to move into that line because you want to go quicker. That's what happens on the road, okay? That's what happens on the road. As soon as we see that, the problem is, you know, in a shopping center and all that stuff, nobody's, like, hitting you and you're falling down and going to the hospital. Here on the road, yes, that, that's going to happen. So we need to anticipate it. We need to see it. We need to recognize that our line is shorter. Our line is moving quicker. And people are going to want to switch over. Once they do that, we have to get out of the way. We have to do something. We have to do pro good progressive braking. We have to swerve. We have to do something. That's part of planning our ride. Okay. See, he sees that there's a an indicator. They're gonna take that line, or take that spot. There it is. They're gonna take that spot. So we have to start planning. Okay. So like, what are we gonna do here? Okay. Well, we might have enough total stopping distance. We're doing about highway speeds. It seems. Maybe it's time to switch lanes. Maybe it's time to switch lanes. This is what I do right here all the time. I just switch lanes. And if they're not in my way, then I just switch back. So braking, lost a little traction. Found the open area, went into it. Beep. All righty. Let's move on. Come on, Andy. Let's move on. All right. MT-07. Okay, line of sight. People switching over. Not supposed to do that on a double white. But I have a... F oh, okay. We're moving on. I don't even want to give him an after action. Ruined it for me. Hey, he's in Ukraine. Ukraine looking pretty good. How old is this? Ukraine seems to be functioning. Let them in. Just let them in. Let them in. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. It's not going to ruin your ride. You didn't get any faster. You'd be stuck behind the white man. Not fighting for the position, law of gross tonnage, you're gonna lose if they hit you. It's like a little kid going against a sumo rider. Ooh, what kind of, ha let's go back just a little bit. What kind of hazards do we have with the railway? Okay, what do we have here? What do we have here? What do you think is gonna happen? Write it in the comments right now. Three, two, one. Do you think we're gonna get our tire stuck into it? Nah, okay, okay. Oh. He's got gear. Seems like he's got some gear. How do we solve that problem? Write in the comments, everybody. First one to get it right gets a whole pizza. Write it in the comments. How does that happen? And what can you do to prevent that? Okay, we talk about that in the MTC Rider Academy, the, the basic rider course. Check it out. Links in the description. $4.99 the first month, $9.99 after that. Once we launch the, the basic smart rider course, it's going to go up because we got a whole list of things we're going to be covering over that.
cross perpendicular, more at a direct angle. Yeah, yeah, Bob. Yes, weather watch. You guys are all right. You guys all can have a pizza. Jefferson does. Does. All right, corner, 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 corner. Make it, make it, make it. Turn left, turn left, left, left. Okay, we're just gonna find an escape. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Check your suspension after this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oof. At least nobody can see you right there, so it's no embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. All right. So what happened here? 122 kilometers an hour, I'm assuming. So we're turning. Okay, we have to make the turn. So we're supposed to continue going this way. We just went too fast. What do you think happened, everybody? Did we target fixate on the wrong thing? Because we're target fixation is not a not necessarily a problem. Target fixating on the wrong things is a problem. This is a no-go. We should be target fixating up here. Okay, we need to go where we look, right? So when we hear about target fixation, and I'm going to say that quite a bit because it's very important, we talk about it in, in the terms of we look at the pole on the side of the road or we look at the woman, we look at the dog, we look at you know the nice car, the other motorcycle. We're, we're focused on that. We start going towards that, right? T-Woo stream, woo! Keep it up, Dan. Thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate it. Um, we look at the wrong thing, we go towards the wrong thing. But if we look at the right thing, we go towards the right thing. So look towards what we should be doing, and you'll start to go towards where we're supposed to be going. We look at the wrong thing, we'll go that way. Okay? Our body will follow it. So our body is now frozen. It's going to point towards it. It's, gonna, it's not going to do exactly what we're supposed to be doing because then we go into brown stage. Okay? Your mental and physical performance just breaks down. Just breaks down. So he went from white stage to brown stage. Target fixation can be a blessing or a curse. Use it as a tool. Use it as something that you can, you know, actually, obviously, utilize for good. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Great braking. Great braking. You know, people do, you know, things happen. Happen. Whoa, side of the vehicle. Good braking. Brake, 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 Very good. Handled it. You notice how he went to a different position, right? So we have the side of the vehicle here. And now his his position for safety has been taken. His space cushion is gone. He located the hazardous situation, he assessed it, and now he navigated progressive braking, right? And look how he switches over to here. Now look at his vision. Now look at his escape path, right? Look at it. Look at it. No, I mean, seriously, like, this is great. Now we can roll off the throttle to increase this distance even more. But he moved from, from the right to the left. This is really good. He's rolling. Oh, let's say he's rolling off the throttle. He's going to pass. Do you. Pay attention up front. Ooh, side of the vehicle. We had a line of sight issue on that one. Take a look at this. Can't see around the line of cars. Okay, so when we're in this area, we should be in orange stage because we have an intersection coming up. You see the break between the buildings? Over on the right, there's a nice little break between buildings here. So if there's enough room for cars, that could be it. And if you've already seen a car come out of there, it's an intersection. So be careful. And there's the side of the vehicle. Apply the, apply the progressive braking right now. Do it. Found the escape to the right a little bit. Move on. Move on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I completely missed that. What happened? Oh, Palma, Palma. So what did he got? You don't. Max could have could have crushed his left leg easily there. Ça va, merci, ouais, merci, merci. Ouais. Hopefully the bike's okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what happened here, because it happened quickly. So I don't know if we were speeding. So usually when I see people post their videos and he's only going five, so it means he has the clutch in and he's applying the brakes really hard. I have no idea if he was speeding beforehand, whatever it is, but this is one of those problems when we're lane filtering, right? People switching out in front of us. So we could have swerved to the right a little bit, but then we would have hit the other vehicle. So this is a kind of a bad spot to be in. This is... 
also something that could easily, excuse me, just happen to you. This is why, as a smart rider, we acquire and use personal protective equipment. All right, this video is already going to be about 25 minutes long at this point. Let's hurry up, Daniel. What are you going now? You don't. Let's hurry up. Ça va, merci, ouais, merci, merci. All right, this looks like California a little bit. What's that sign say? Can't tell, but it's definitely a caution sign. Whoa, 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 we just completely... I don't think we were paying attention. I don't think we were paying attention there. We have a sharp right, sharp left turn coming up. We weren't going super fast. Oh, dogs are there to rescue. Oh. Let's rescue each other. A little chopper there. Nice. Ah. Sweet stash, buddy. There you go. Lift it correctly. Perfect. Good job. Watch out for. Uh, oh, that uh, hurt. Yeah, I bet it did, dude. You fucking hit that hard. You all right? You yeah. Look? Sweet stash and hair, man. Got the glasses. Oh, no. Three quarter helmet, though. The bike turn on? Probably. Oh, his leg. He's losing some strength. Muscle skeletal system's not wanting to work. Is it functional? Can we go? All right, here we go. Let's take a look at what happened exactly. This is a good one. So our buddy's way up front. You can barely see him. Barely see this guy. Barely see him. There's somebody behind us. Okay, so we're kind of in the middle of him. We're not going super fast. Hit a bump. All right, so we're hitting some bumps. Look at this. Look at the this right here. Bump. That can mess you up. This is a crest of the hill. You don't know exactly what's happening, but I think this was another target fixation thing where we're looking over here versus looking here. Because look at look at the camera angle. It's on the top of our head, so it's probably pointing straight, right? So where I'm looking here, it's looking there. If I'm looking here, it's looking here. If I'm looking over here, it's looking over here. Right now, this is the center. This is the focal. The center is the focal, okay, based on the camera. Assumptions, but pretty pretty typical. Now, let's take a look. So looking through the corner, looking through the corner, looking through the corner. We're not looking through the corner anymore. You see what I mean? Right in the center. It's exactly where we're looking. Let's go ahead and make it even perfectly center. Let's make it perfectly center. Let's see. Da, da, da. I think that's it right there. Let's take a look. So looking through the corner. Looking through the corner. You gotta look. There you go. Turn your head. Perfect. Look, 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 look. So I see this a lot. People aren't, aren't aggressive with their, their looking. This is why when when I'm teaching the smart rider drills, I tell people to put their chin, if you're turning right, put your, uh, I guess for you guys, it's the left. So I'll just say this is my left. When you're turning left to do a left U-turn, when you're turning left to do a left U-turn, put your chin on your shoulder. Not do this, but this. Look that way versus looking this way. Look. So when you're turning, 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 not so when we're going through the corner right here, and we're just doing very minor looks, very minor turns, this is what happens. You need to be aggressive. Punch towards the turn. Punch towards the turn. Like, look at it. Go for it. And so right here, you don't see the, the aggressive head looks, the aggressive turns. There we go. So now you got to look look through the turn right here. Look over 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 here. That's the problem. That's one of the problems. That's one of the problems. But, yeah, I would love to ask him. This is one of those things where it's like, you know what? Let's go ahead and see if we can ask people. But uh, thank you, Motostars, for posting this video. We're going to be uh, doing a few more. So uh, make sure you guys uh, stick with the live stream. All right?